I think, like always in football, we said we need to, to wait now to know and then uh, have the belief that we can beat any team. Um, but of course, it's going to be tough. Uh, to be part of the last 16 on, on Champions League, um, you always can expect a big team that is going or big opponent uh, going to play. Yesterday, Daniel Levy announced a further delay on Wembley the Manchester United match. Um, the new stadium, rather, is, is going to be a little bit Wembley, Man United. How important is it, do you think, that when you play in the last 16, you are at your new stadium? Well, I think, I hope and I wish to play uh, our fair leg in, in, in the new stadium. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is this going to to be um, there or not, or in Wembley? We need to wait. But my wish and, and hope that we can we can play the first leg in in, in our new stadium. Do you think that will actually help Spurs' chances in the Champions League? Because some people, like Sam Allardyce, actually are saying now that it would help Spurs if he stayed at Wembley the whole season. No, I think it's going to help us if we perform us in the way that we want. If we <clears throat> are capable to perform us in the best way, of course, it's going to help us um, on Wembley or in, in our new stadium. But um, I don't believe it's going to be decisive um, to play in one or another stadium, and that is why it means that we are going to, to be close to win. I think the most important is our performance uh, on the pitch. Of course, for for the motivation, for the for our fans, of course, for our player, our staff uh, would be fantastic, massive boost for us if in case to play in our new stadium. But I think the motivation will be there too if we play on Wembley. The same. No, I think that is not going to change our mind. Um, of course, it's so important for the club. It's for it's in, in in both sides. Uh, in of course, uh, in sport and in financial side, I think it's a fantastic achievement for the club. I think the perception outside um, is fantastic, and and of course, I think we fully des full deserve to be on the last sixteen. And um, but um, yes, I think uh, the impact is is massive in all the aspects, and I think uh, that is not going to change our mind. We'll see what happens in January. Um, like I told you before, um, we'll see. We are always open um, to improve. I am more uh, motivated to play against Burnley than than against uh, uh, the previous games, because um, to try to reduce the distance with Liverpool and Manchester City, because uh, we are going to play three very important points um, to be in Premier League in the top four and and. To be there um, and to keep the distance uh, and to keep the position is, uh, for me, is a massive motivation. And uh, I think we need to feel all the same. I think, of course, it's, it's so important game. It's going to be a tough game because uh, every three days to play is always tough. Uh, but we need to try to find uh, the way to approach the game in the best condition and sure that we are going to be ready to to fight for try to win we are going to have a very tough opponent in front but i think the most important is in the way that we are going to approach the game just on the team news is it fair to say that all of the injured players won't be available for this weekend uh, we need to assess tomorrow a few players um, we'll see I cannot say if they are going to be available or not. How do you feel about uh, keeping Carl Walker Peters in the side after his performance in Barcelona? For me, his performance was uh, was very good. Was very good. Um, for me, I think um, he he was fantastic. Of course, that uh, 
a little bit unlucky in the situation that after we concede the goal, like another player made the same mistake. Only that we concede in that situation and in another situation we didn't concede. But if we analyse the game and you judge him, I think he is, was fantastic. Um, to make the debut in Champions League in, in Barcelona, um, show that he has uh, quality and character uh, to cope with that press, pressure. Look, it's a very delic delicate situation and for me it's so difficult in English to express how I feel. I am again that all that type of situation that happened on the, on the pitch or in the stadium or on the street. And of course I am very supportive with him and with all the people that uh, suffer some abuse like, like, uh, like him. What's the confidence like in the squad, I bet they're buzzing after Wednesday? <clears throat> the confidence always is good if you manage in the right way. Because sometimes the confidence uh, makes you weaker, weak. And it's so important to be confident, uh, but uh, thinking and we need to be ready to compete in our best way. Because it's going to be a tough game against Burnley. And not because we are in the last 16 now in quali uh, qualify for the for the Champions League on the next stage, it's going to be easy to play uh, Saturday. I think we need to give our best mentality. Uh, we need to the approach of the game must be uh, very aggressive in, in our best way with plenty of energy, and of course we need to deserve to win on the after 90 minutes. But um, I am so motivated to play uh, this game because for us it's so important to, to get the three point and after to prepare the derby Wednesday against Arsenal. You had a big win against Manchester United earlier in the season and then you followed that up by a, a loss to Watford. Will you speak to your players about that? How do you make sure that that doesn't happen again? But, but in between that situation, I think happened many things that. Um, uh, Completely different, and um, but of course, um, always is tough to manage when you, um, like us, uh, to qualify for the last 16 in Champions League after Barcelona game. That they were all the people very exciting. Our fans were very exciting after the game. Of course, that now is, is, is the most important is to be clever how we need to find the way to to take to to take it in the same way, the game, because um, that is the, the challenge and that is going to show if we are a very mature team and consistent team to, to challenge for big things. We need to play against Barley like we played against Barcelona or the previous game. Um, I'm going to be disappointed if we didn't approach the game in the same way that, that before. Um, in my mind, after Barcelona, uh, I was thinking in, in trying to be ready and to prepare myself to to be in the best condition. And I think all the team, the whole team, the staff and the fans need to think the same. Now the most important game is the next, and the next is Saturday in Barley. And uh, not because we are in the last 16 on Champions League, uh, it's going to be easy and going, uh, going to win without effort, uh, without the energy that you need in Premier League. That is why it's uh, massive respect to the opponent and and try to give your best and knowing that we need to make a, a massive effort to win the game. When people talk about the Premier League title race, most teams mention Manchester City and Liverpool, but you're really in it, aren't you? You're only six points off. You're, you're in the title race, aren't you? Uh, we are there. We are in a good position, of course. Um, but it's normal that um, the perception, of course, is, is different. And I am happy with the perception today when you talk about that the, only the perception for the people or for the media is uh, Manchester City and Liverpool and not us. I am not happy with the perception when uh, they are not uh, 
assess it in the right in the right way to us. I think after invers, investment and uh, and after uh, many things, uh, when you assess uh, different club, normally is Liverpool and Manchester City, Chelsea, United, Arsenal will be involved in the race for the title, but not Tottenham. But of course, uh, we are there because uh, we are there because we compete in, in a very good way, um, because our performance are doing fantastic. But of course, the perception is, is different, of course. Um, I opened up the newspaper's game this morning. I read a lot of stories about Real Madrid. Are you fed up with questions about Real Madrid? If I, I sorry, if I accept the questions, board, board of questions about Real Madrid. No, 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 no. Why? Boring or tired? No, no, no. Because it's every single press conference we, we seem to wake up and it's a, another question about you being linked with a Real Madrid job. I just wondered if it's boring for you. No, it's not. Look, this type of uh, news, I think. Uh, um, no, no upset people, no boring people. Uh, I prefer that uh, the newspaper talk about uh, things like uh, you are telling me that uh, talking about uh, Tottenham is going to suck me or, or the people is tired about me or uh, we are in a, in a delicate situation or difficult situation. Of course, if I need to choose... One one situation, I choose this one, of course. I am not boring, of course. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to finish with Ali and Ben. Ali. Uh, thanks, Joe. <coughs> Previously, you said that about the next, uh, next month's council window, you would have to let players go before you could bring them in to the foreign player uh, unit. Fernando Lorente said after the match the other night that he would like to move back to Atletico Bilbao if the club would let him. Well, still we we didn't talk. We still, I promise you, it's a lot of uh, things that uh, are happening in the last uh, months, and we are so focused in competing in the best way uh, every three days. I see it's not a thing that we need to plan too much uh, because uh, sometimes in football, when arrive the moment, we are going to talk. And we are going to decide the best for for the team, for the club, and for the player, of course. Um, we'll see the, the priority of the player, the priority of the club. But I think still we have a few weeks, and then we'll see what happens. And sure that we are going to try to take the best decision for the for the player, of course, for, but for the club uh, too.